childhood is strange. Strange enough to make you question whether or not it really happened. It's full of awkward new experiences, bizarre conversations, and enough unusual perspectives to make you wonder if half of it was real. Then you run across something at a thrift store or online and you go, huh, so I wasn't just making that up. Take for example, Waterful Ring Toss by Tomy in 1976. I stumbled into this particular example at a local Goodwill several years ago and instantly some long forgotten part of my brain bolted awake and about coughed up a lung. All of a sudden I knew that I had this as a kid, that I played it entirely too much for my own good, and that I now questioned whether or not I was crazy for having done so. Tomi Waterful Ring Toss is a handheld tabletop game that requires the use of water to work, otherwise it's just a dry container filled with air and little plastic rings. Sure, you can play the game without any water, but that's just about as enjoyable as shaking out the last few Cheerios stuck in the folds of the plastic bag at the bottom of a box of cereal. But once you fill this beast up with water, it transforms into a finely tuned machine of childhood mental engagement, or at least that's the idea. Really, it's just interesting enough to shut up a five-year-old on a short road trip, at least until they have to pee or the container spills onto the back seat, whichever comes first. The latter of which was quite likely if you'd lost the cap that goes over the filling hole like I have with this one. Waterful Ring Toss is less of a game and more of a test of skill. And patience, lots of patience, because water and floaty rings don't exactly make for movements of precision and calculation. I guess you could say that success is a complete toss-up that really puts you through the ringer. But oh, water relief, once you finally win, you simply push in the plastic button and the plastic rings will be shot upward inside the plastic container, where the goal is to secure them on two plastic spikes. It's a ring toss carnival game in a portable form factor, and it's actually pretty genius in a way. It doesn't require batteries. There are no electronic parts or anything mechanical that can jam up. There wasn't a pile of pieces to lose, and most of all, it was cheap. So at least in terms of children's games and games on the go, this was automatically better than LCD games, electromechanical handhelds, jigsaw puzzles, and travel size board games. Well, better from the perspective of parents who had less to worry about other than the risk of spilling water. And hey, if you were a kid with nothing else, and I mean nothing else to play, then this was freaking awesome. If anything, the endearing little noises it made when using it made the whole thing worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the thrill of finally getting all those rings onto the pegs that was negligible. But hey, as a kid, it was something to accomplish and occupy yourself with for a while. And that was really all that five-year-old me wanted. At least until my curiosity got the best of me and I swiped my dad's screwdriver to take the thing apart to see how it worked. Ah, uh, yes, just as I suspected. Magic. So I know these things existed and that I owned one, but two questions remain. What happened to mine and which model did I have? Well, the answer to the first question is most likely that I either destroyed it when trying to take it apart or that it ended up languishing on the shelves of a thrift store in Kernersville. The answer to the second question is more vague, seeing as there was an entire line of these things known as waterfuls. They were sold by Tomi, Milton Bradley, Coleco, and probably others, and has dozens of variants, so there's no telling. I highly doubt it was this 1976 original, because frick, I wasn't even born until a decade later. Whatever the answer truly is, these waterful toys hold a special place in my heart. The place where I just can't wait for us to get where we're going so I can just get out of the car and do anything else because these stupid rings are starting to really get on my nerves. And if you enjoyed this look back at Waterful Ring Toss and would like to see some others, I guess, I don't, I don't have any more, but maybe I'll get some more, then uh, don't sub to my channel, because like I said, I don't have any. But if you want to see some other videos on other things that I have done, and I've done quite a lot of them, mostly video games and computers and such, then uh, definitely subscribe if you would like to be notified when there are more of them. You can also tweet me on Twitter and book my face on Facebook. 
for other updates throughout the week, as well as do the whole Patreon thing. And if you're not sure what that is, then uh, just click the P right there and go check it out. It lets you support the show, as well as get some extra perks. And as always, thank you very much for watching.